Hey guys, welcome to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. I'm very happy, guys, that today we're going to be doing the unboxing of the HP G7 Fury, which is inside of this box here. As you know, HP sent us the Omniset. Whew. So it's like, well, which one should I unbox first, the Fury or the G2 Omniset? I decided to go with the Fury because we can do some benchmarking against the RTX 2070 i7-9700K Hero 11 Maximus motherboard. Um, so after we do the unboxing, I will also do a testing. I'll just show you very quickly that I have my HP Reverb G2 version one, guys. This is a version one. Version two is plugged in to my PC. So we'll be doing a lot of benchmarking against it. Uh, so we have here all the cables ready to go inside of the actual laptop. So we're gonna also, I'm also gonna power it on in today's video and it will do a very, very quick test to make sure to see how it works. HP, thank you so much for, for you for preparing the laptop, putting all the software and everything. They apparently they already installed mixed reality and everything that needs to be installed inside of the laptop. So that's really, really awesome. Thank you so much also for sponsoring the channel. As you know, whew, these guys are absolutely amazing and we're just really happy to be working with them. They're very professional people very effective people and they support our mission which is awesome so thanks again HP so let's just uh, do the unboxing this is pretty crazy stuff guys this is a very expensive laptop I will, I will also I will also provide you all the specs of the laptop after I've opened it because I don't actually know the specs I don't know what graphics card it has I don't know what CPU it has <clears throat> So I will just find out all that after we do the actual Unboxing of the laptop. Uh, however, I just noticed that there's no There's no cable is there a cable I Have the laptop, but I don't have battery for it May maybe the <laughs> Maybe the cable is inside the Omniset box <laughs> I don't know, I'm not quite sure. So it's not in here, but uh, I'll try to see if I can find an alternative cable lying around because we have so many cables. But guys, this is it. This is what it looks like here. So this looks pretty cool. I put the light towards it so you can see a bit better. So yeah, it looks very nice. This is the G7 Fury Zen laptop for PC guys looks very very nice. It's a uh, it's a bit heavy. Wow, it's a bit of a beast, but it feels very feels very solid. This is definitely some heavy metal that's here. And then we have the battery here that can take out or to lock it or something. I don't know. I have to explore what this is for. Uh, but yeah, it's really amazing, pretty cool. Love the color. It's kind of a silver, silver color, I guess you could say. Whew. Looks really awesome. And guys, thank you so much for your support on the channel because it's thanks to also your likes, your reshares, your comments, your subscribe, subscribe, subscribing. Wow, looks very cool, very nice just to need to anti-dust it. Let me just uh, bring it to the other side. So here you go. This is what it looks like. Very cool, very nice stuff. It's a Core i7V Pro 10th Gen apparently. It says on here and then it folds all the way like this. So this is pretty nice. So as you can see, on the sticker here. So that's pretty cool. Wow, so I guess I'm gonna have to open the Omniset because I would imagine the power supply will be inside of the Omniset. And the speakers are made by Bang & Olufsen. Wow. So BNO, by the way, are one of the world's top speaker people, I mean technology people when it comes to TVs speakers, all these kind of things. Um, Bang & Olufsen are super expensive, like, wow. Super luxury stuff, so 
This is really amazing stuff. Um, so as you can see, we have the trackpad here with all the different buttons and all the different things there. So yeah, does it? I'm just wondering if it powers on. So we have all the dis uh, display stuff here. Display port, USB, and then also a slot here. I'll have to find out what that slot's for. I'm not quite sure what that slot is for, so I'll have to find out. And then on the other side, we have the HDMI. HDMI stuff and all this kind of stuff to plug in the headset and uh, the power cord, power adapter and stuff. But uh, yeah, it looks, looks pretty big, right? It is a pretty big laptop. It's supposed to be a 15 inch, so, but it feels bigger than a 15 inch, so. All right, so guys, the first thing is, I actually found the power adapter. So this is the actual power adapter itself for the laptop. It was actually inside the box, hidden in another compartment at the far back. So it was a bit like an optical illusion. And then the other thing is, uh, if I just show you very quickly, so the actual laptop is an HP Z Book Fury 15 G7 mobile workstation. And the details are that it's an Intel R Core TM i7 10850H CPU running at 2.7 gigahertz. Uh, to 2.71 gigahertz. Perhaps there will be a way to overclock it. I would look into that, but I'll do future videos about it. Uh, the installed RAM is about 16 gigs, 15.8 gigabyte usable. Um, and then device ID, product ID, of course, I'm gonna hide that. The system type is a 64-bit operating system. Um, and it's a pen, pen and touch. This says no pen or touch input is available for the display. And then also, uh, just to let, let you guys know that I'm running on the Windows 10 Pro version 21H2. Um, and uh, yeah, so then the other thing is, let me tell you the actual GPU. So I found out that the GPU, guys, this is pretty amazing. It's actually, so there's two. First, there's the Intel R uh, UHD graphics, which is the basic uh, display by Intel. But the actual GPU installed is an NVIDIA Quadro RTX 5000 with Q design. So that is, that is pretty, that's, that's some pretty cool stuff. I think, I think that's better than my 2070. Again, I need to go online, research, do benchmarking. Of course, this is today just purely an unboxing, just giving you some feedback, um, but I will put it through the paces for his test. And I'll do a proper review of this laptop. Probably I would say in a good three or four weeks time, because you know there might be some bugs here and there. I have to install all the antiviruses and all these kind of things. So, but today what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, Steam is already installed, Windows Mixed Reality is already installed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to power on uh, the actual reverb itself. I'm going to power it on, switch the power on. I'm going to plug it inside of the actual laptop graphics display and all this kind of stuff. And then later I will give you, you know, just to see what happens when we power it on. And also just want to say that the keyboard so far is very cool. I love the big letters, um, very easy to type. And also the power on button for anyone who, who wants to know is actually here next to the delete thing in case you have this and you're like, where's the power button? Because I was trying to, I was trying to figure out how, how the hell that I had to go online to unfortunately find out how to power it on. That's how stupid I am. All right, guys, <laughs> let's power on the G, the G7, the, sorry, the HP Reverb G2 right now inside of the G7 Fury laptop. Let's do this. All right, so I put the adapter of the display port that I'm gonna plug inside of the actual laptop. So I think it's this way, no, this way. And then we're gonna put this USB lightning thing here in here. There we go. All done, all nice, all good. Now what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna turn on the power to the actual VR headset. And then we should see an actual, we should see the HP logo appearing. I could hear it. There we go. 
Mixed Trinity is loading on the PC, on the laptop, sorry, not the PC. And then we have the HP logo that is here also. So everything is loading nicely. And it also is actually asking me to plug in your PC, uh, the actual uh, plug to make it work as best as possible. So I might actually do that. And let me log out of the web browser and any other application that is opened is very important. And then we can actually, what we can do right now is we can just go here, press on play. I'm going to maximize the screen. And normally we should, yeah, we can see inside of the headset. As you can see, it's loading. So it's asking me to put the headset on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do exactly just that. All right, guys, so before we power on, I just want to give you some idea in terms of the benchmarks between the two graphics cards to, to begin with. Uh, so we can actually see the differences. So uh, obviously the RTX 2070 that I purchased goes inside of my desktop, uh, worth apparently around 600 US dollars. Uh, release date Q4 2018, score of 65. And then we have the uh, Quadro RTX 5000 mobile, uh, which is installed, of course, inside of the laptop itself. So, and the score for this one apparently is 54. So let's see some of the differences. Uh, apparently in uh, more than 426,000, in fact, 427,000 user benchmarks, we're looking at a speed rank about 33rd, at 672. Um, so, and then if we go here to the next one, it's plus 29% guys. So it's about 18th out of 672. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, in fact, it's a whopping 135% faster effective speed uh, compared to my actual RTX 2070. So that is very interesting. Now, um, just to let you know that my uh, PC is actually overclocked my desktop. It runs at about five gigahertz. So that means that if this laptop runs at 2.7 gigahertz, then obviously there's a lack of performance in terms of CPU, but in terms of GPU, then obviously there is more performance here uh, according to uh, the actual benchmarks itself. So let's just go further down, read a little bit. So there's 184 FPS better peak lightning effect compared to 146 FPS on the RTX 2070. Uh, we also have 188 FPS um, frames per second, slightly better peak reflection handling apparently compared to the actual uh, RTX 2070. For the render and the gravity, we're looking at 193 and 139 on the 2070 versus 192 and 161 uh, for the body calculation. Uh, and then if we go further down a little bit in terms of nice to haves, uh, we have plus 30%, so more recent, um, plus 35 months, 199 FPS, much better peak texture detail, 150 frames per second, so plus 29% of faster peak complex splat splatting, 180 frames per second, much better texture detail, so plus 37%, and also plus 38% of much faster complex splatting compared to the RTX 2070. So the average benchmark is 135% versus 105% for the RTX 2070. So I think this is very interesting before we power on the HP Reverb D2, but now, of course, let's power on the HP Reverb D2 right away. All right, so let's try the headset on first, just to double check that everything's working inside of it. And I can confirm, I can actually see inside with no issues whatsoever. I'm inside of the Windows uh, Mixed Reality. And the reason why I wanted to show you that you have to update everything. So basically, I, did, I downloaded the NVIDIA graphics card, uh, the NVIDIA GeForce experience, um, and I also updated the actual laptop because at the beginning, what happened was I couldn't see anything inside the headset. It was all completely black. And I thought, oh, maybe it's the cable. But actually, it turns out that after I did all the updates of the driver, of the laptop, Everything is working completely fine. In fact, what I'm going to do now, let me just take one of the controllers. And then let me just power it on. 
There we go, it's coming online. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little recording. Press record, there we go. And normally you should also hear the microphone in just a minute. In three, two, one. So I just, I just updated the audio also, by the way. So now I'm recording inside of the actual headset. So I'm turning and going towards the Old Space VR and going towards the asteroids. So just to prove to you that, you know, I can see there's no issues inside. Now I'm going to the other side towards the sea and I can see the view. So yeah, so this is really, really awesome. The fact that I can see everything, this is very cool. I didn't have to do any calibration in terms of my play space because HP already had installed mixed reality inside of the laptop. So I don't have to do all that. But of course, I will have to redo it when I move inside of another space. So let me just go to all apps. Uh, see whether I can find Steam VR inside, and then see if I can go inside of actually uh, the home. So select to launch. All right, let's go. I can hear the laptop definitely churning. Definitely, uh, its fan is definitely moving. I can hear it's trying to cool itself as much as possible. But the graphics seems to be completely okay so far. Um, I would say that. They're more or less the same as as what I have on my PC at the moment. Although, I definitely, I mean, I don't know what this is. This, this is something from HP from an update recently or not. But inside of Steam VR, I can actually see a little bit more of screen door effect than I can do on my actual PC. But, uh, I will have to go and double check and all these kind of things because I can see like minuscule, like really teeny tiny little bars inside of Steam VR. I think it's actually something that occurred inside of Steam VR. To be honest, I don't think it's inside of of the games because when I play Population One or Onward or Half Life Alex, I just don't see this kind of little tiny teeny screen door effect. So I think it's something to do with Steam VR. To be honest. So as you can tell, uh, there's no, uh, I think my controller batteries are low because my controller just disappeared. Okay, it's back. Um, so as you can see, it says welcome, press B or Y button. Next. So it's, it's making me go through this entire thing. Uh, so, so yes, yeah, so if I can get rid of that, there we go. Uh, so yes, I'm inside, but other, other than that, I mean, it works completely okay. Um, you know, compared to the first time that I went into Steam VR, on my PC, I had to actually down the resolution. So if you go to the home and then video settings, Steam VR at the moment is at 100% and I'm having no issues whatsoever when it comes to the actual loading of Steam VR. There's no jitteriness, there's no lagging, there's nothing like that. So, you know, if you do have any issues with that, I do seriously suggest that you put the headset at its closest resolution as possible. Um, and then you just close it, go to your Windows Mixed Reality here, go to Graphics, and then you can turn on Motion Vector as well if you need it. If not, just keep it disabled to begin with. But if you have any, you know, jitteriness or anything like that, for example, here I can definitely tell that having Motion Vector on uh, kind of creates a little bit more issues inside of CMVR. Things are wobbling around. Uh, some, for example, you can see here the shadow has some jitteriness here. Um, so I'm definitely going to go back to video setting, uh, go back to Windows Mixed Reality graphics and then disable it here because it just feels a little bit more stable, uh, especially when it comes to the shadows and things walking around. But different apps, you may need it. So, you know, do test out and experiment. So guys, yeah, absolutely everything works, no problem. I definitely think that having the laptop now, it's gonna give us much more mobility, so we'll be able to do some content in different places as well. But yeah, I mean, if I just uh, transition over, of course today is not, uh, you know, is not a review, it's, it's purely an unboxing, plus to see if things work. And it seems to be at the moment that everything works completely okay. I'm using the original HP Reverb G2 version one, as you guys know. So this cable is more than a year old. I mean, we're, we're talking about 15 months 
old. It's pretty, you know, it's getting there. It's starting to, to make its usage. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, the headset works completely okay. I've maintained it amazingly as well. No scratches on the lens. The cable, I always make sure that it's never wrapped around itself. It's always loose. So, you know, you just have to do these kind of things. But the, the laptop works fine. The keyboard is great to, to type on, I have to admit. Uh, very easy to use. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. Um, I just had to do the, the update of the software, plus download the NVIDIA GeForce, update the driver uh, for the graphics card, and then I was able to see everything inside the headset as you saw today, because at the beginning when I did the power turn on for the first time, it was black inside even though everything was working on the display. And I was like, oh no, what's happened? Ah, panic. But we got there, it was simply because I had to do all the software and driver updates, guys. So there you go. All right, guys, so do make sure that you can win a brand new HP Reverb G2, guys, that HP will send to you as they are the ones who are sponsoring the competition and also a brand new pair of cyber shoes, the cyber gaming station and all this kind of stuff. And also a third winner will get a voucher worth 50 US dollars to be able to buy your favorite VR apps on any store you want. It's completely up to you guys. So guys, I'll see you in the comments below and also another video very soon. HP, again, thank you so much for your support on the channel because it's also thanks to you that we are able to provide all this knowledge and educate all our members on the channel as well. So guys, take it easy. I'll see you in another video very soon.